Hello, welcome to my Web University free educational videos. I'm going to demonstrate how to use Python programming language to just uh, get some um, tips and tricks from my um, Web University that I could uh, show you using Python. And um, let me share my screen first. So currently you're seeing my Web University free educational uh, videos, my YouTube channel. You're welcome to uh, like and subscribe and the uh, channel. And um, for this video, I'm going to uh, just uh, show you some tips and tricks with Python programming language. So uh, let me do a slideshow on this one. Um, so the, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of candies here. And then um, because tips and tricks in Python are going to give you some sweet stuff. And I hope uh, you enjoy learning it. And then um, just um, do some shortcuts with uh, when you're doing programming or and just the scripting, one line scripting. So this is uh, a sweet stuff that you could just learn online and then uh, get it to work on your environment. So without further ado, let's get to the business and do it. I'm going to minimize this window. I'm going to open a terminal session. And on the terminal session, if I run a, a program, a shell script that I wrote uh, called a Python uh, tips and tricks TT. So Python TT.sh tips and tricks. This one basically is uh, going to, uh, let me make sure that it's a Python TT.sh. I just must have typed it incorrectly. So and this is Python tips and, and tricks. And that's uh, what uh, this uh, video is about. It's gonna be a short video, hopefully. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do, to make shorter videos so you guys are gonna like it. It's Python, the tips and uh, plus tricks that we wanna just uh, show you on this one. So let's get to uh, do it uh, right now. I'm gonna maximize this window and then clear my screen and then I say man Python um, here. When you do man Python, there's one uh, option here, minus C for command line syntax. So this will option give you to run a one line um, scripting or just run a script within Python. I'm going to demonstrate how to do that one uh, using dash C option in Python. So it could give you one line scripting. So if I could say a Python dash C, and within the quotation, I could say print the statement. And now if I just wanna say and uh, print the hello world statement, because I use the double quote here, I'm going to use single quote inside this one. That's how the normally the Python syntax is. So then I am gonna close this one and I'm going to do this. So now it says hello world. And if I just want to do more uh, than one new line characters, obviously, it adds that one there. Now, assuming that this is one line syntax, you can just get a lot of information. Like, for example, the Python dash dash version we're seeing here. So I could just get the same information from a sys module. If I go inside Python and then I just say Python, Python uh, 3 here, and then I say import uh, says, and then says dot version, that would give me that information, uh, says dot, uh, ver says, um, dot version info would give me the version information, the major, minor, and then uh, says dot executable will give me the actual executable path user Ben Python. So I'm going to exit out of the Python here and then I'm going to use the one line command to just get this information for this version or sys info or python.executable. Let's do that one. So you could say python-c, and then inside here, you could say import the same uh, as a statement that you're saying here, but put a semicolon here, and then say um, inside here, you could say sys. Uh, actually, you have to do a print statement to, in order to get the output of that one. Sys. Version, for example, you could just say sys. Version, and then close it, and then now you got the sys. Version. The same thing if you want to get a system version info, you get that one, and if you want to just get that system. 
executable, 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 then you get the uh, user band Python. So how easy it is from the command line to get that information. So let's just uh, uh, do another example. If you go to Python 3 and then you say, let me just get to um, do, for example, a for statement. You could say, for example, for um, item and range of, um, let's say, 10 numbers. And then you could just say, print the number is. And then uh, just put a code here, um, put the item here. And then that would uh, print uh, the number is zero through nine because we went through that range. And then um, I could do the same thing here. I could just say, well, uh, how about uh, doing uh, one more statement before we exit out here? So if I say X uh, is equal, and then do a, a less comprehension here, X for X and range of, uh, let's say, um, 100. And then uh, uh, I'm going to put the 100 in between um, parentheses because it's a function range. So uh, range, and then uh, do f x uh, module uh, two is equal to zero. That means we are going to get only the even numbers. This is going to give us uh, the value. When you print x, it's going to give you the value of uh, x. Now let's accomplish the same thing with the Python one line command scripting. So I'm going to um, quit here. You can exit or quit like this as a function, it will understand it. So let's just do the first statement here and that we did uh, within and the Python. But we went inside the Python interpreter. This time we don't get into Python interpreter. We say Python minus C for command. And then the same syntax we did here, we say for, um, for item, uh, we put it within the double quote for item and range. And then we say 10 and then do this. But now we have to uh, indent it four columns, one, two, three, four. And then we say print. And then again, this one, because this one is going with double code here inside. Since I use double code, I'm gonna use single code inside this print statement. And say the number is, and then single code comma, and then um, item to print it out, and then double quote closing it. And notice that it did exactly what we did over there. Now let's do this for X statement here. We are going to do the same thing. You say um, Python 3 minus C. Python 3 is the version that uh, is there, the binary. Uh, I've made an alias for it. So in either case, it's going to work. Python 3 minus C, and then we're going to put the uh, quotation. We're going to say X is equal. And then we put the same syntax X for X and range. We don't have to always use the X. Uh, we could use any variable. And the range it could be anything. And then if X, this time, if we want to just print out the my modules, again, I'm going to do the same thing with modules. Uh, module two is equal zero or even numbers. If you want to do it with odd numbers, you just have to uh, say not equal to. And then uh, here is done, but then we're going to do one more statement, say print X. So we can get the X as a value here. And notice that is there. So uh, let's just do the odd number. We just say, this is going to give us the odd number right here, one, one line. How cool is that? And then and, uh, the tips and tricks kind of idea, if you have to do this one for 1 million numbers or 100,000 numbers or 1,000 numbers, it's just a piece of um, cake for you. That's why you have those candies. Just don't eat all of them. Uh, it's gonna be too much uh, sugar. Uh, we, we just are uh, eating the command line syntax. So this is one of the technique that you could do with uh, Python. Obviously you could do with any uh, function. So let's just do a math module. So you could say um, Python three minus C, and then you could just say import math module. 
And then uh, after that one, you could just say print uh, mat and dot is square root of, um, let's say 100. And then we just print that one and it's um, um, going to give you the square root of 10 uh, for 100. And the same thing for 100,000 would be 100. So that is there, the square root is one function, but if you wanna just say, give me math.py value, uh, you could get that one, 3.141. So um, a lot of these uh, techniques are very uh, useful. The second technique that I wanna show you is how to um, clear the screen inside the Python interpreter. So let's do that one. So I'm going to clear my screen here on the command line and I type in Python three. And then let's say I go to help on their uh, functions and I read that one and then I say, okay, so those are, there are these are modules that are there, the double underscore uh, dunder methods that are there or magic method. If I wanna just get a list of all these ones with help, notice how easy it is. So you could just say print um, double underscore and let's say doc. And then and there, it's a lot of information. If, if you just say print and then uh, do a dir on it. And then uh, now um, that one is going to give you an insight here, whatever um, the uh, dir directory contains. But if you wanna get help on it, to get the print uh, help on the uh, double underscore doc, you could do that one. Another technique you could do is, um, since Dur gave you this uh, technique here that gave you a list of it, if you wanna just get a list of each one of them with the directories listing, you could do something like this. For um, item and range, not range in this case, and Dur, this is a list that uh, is going to print. This, uh, this one, as you can see, it is start with a list here and then it ends with a list. So that is uh, the uh, list um, uh, that has those um, items. So we could just say for items and then say print there of each one items, each item. And then uh, now we're going to get a there on annotation, there on built-ins, there on this. If it doesn't have it, it will not print it, but it has it, all of them. So it, it got this information. And then now if I wanna just do the same thing, with um, there of this one, if you uh, rather do um, than print, we're gonna say, get help on these ones. So you can learn uh, about this um, uh, double underscore magic method. You could just see like, as if you press enter, each one of them, you uh, just read the documentation for it. And by the time you're done with everything, you will have an end and you type in Q for quit for one and then go to the next one. Uh, quit the uh, next one and then until you read all of them so uh, i'm going to quit 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 that way i'm done with all of them so now the third uh, technique that i want to show you how on python you can clear your screen obviously you can just say import um, import os uh, and then the os the door of os has all these modules and then os dot um, and dot uh, system, you can run the system. And then this one is, um, since it's a Linux, you uh, clear a screen with clear command. So clear command would clear it for you. But um, if you just uh, say it os.name, it's uh, just POSIX, that is mean uh, it's uh, Linux or Mac. But if it is Windows, it's a post, uh, os.name would be MD. So let's just do one more thing here and then finish this video. So I'm going to just uh, do a shortcut and rather than importing the OS, this time I'm going to uh, say, go to Python 3 and then do a dir command here and then say, uh, get help on this functions. And at this time I wanna clear my screen without importing sys modules. So I could just uh, get, get out here and now this screen is full. All I have to do is say print um, one character. If you print this new line character, it prints uh, just one blank. But if you do multiply this one to a 50, it's gonna just uh, print your screen, uh, clear your screen. So the very fast way to do something like this is there 
and then you quit out of this, now you say, okay, go ahead, run this print uh, fifth, uh, new line characters times 50, it will just clear your screen. Another way you could do is use the for statement to do it. But this is uh, the multiplication is um, much faster. So I could do also in a for statement, which is a little bit slower than this the multiplication times um, because uh, you have to do it uh, each line uh, and flash it out. So now if you just say help here and then say keywords, now I'm going to um, quit out of here. And then at this time I'm on inside the interpreter. I could also do for, um, let's say clear screen. And that don't have to say item. You could say whatever you want. And uh, for X and a range of, uh, let's say 50. And then you just uh, say 50 times and then uh, say print. This time I'm, I don't have to say the number of lines. So I could just say and this is statement and it's gonna do 50 times. It's automatically running that one. So that uh, ends the video and we're done with it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to exit out of here and then um, uh, go to the shells uh, script and then run the piece the such a script which uh, uh, tell you that this is my web uh, YouTube uh, channels. You're welcome to subscribe and like the videos and make some comments so I can make better videos for you. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, peace to you all. Uh, have a great one. And then um, this, these candies, uh, make sure you don't have too many of them. Enjoy learning as much as you have. Okay, take care. Have a great uh, evening. It is um, around 11.56 p.m. in the beautiful city of Diamond Bar, uh, California. Have a nice one. Take care. Peace to you all.